Hey yo, and welcome back to Platy Cove. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to take care of fan tail goldfish. This video will be about what tank size they need, their water parameters, their food, what other tank mates they can live with, and my experience with them and how annoying they can be sometimes. I'm going to start us off with water parameters since we can get it over with because, let's face it, it's kind of boring sometimes. Your goldfish's tank should have 65 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit for its average temperature, temperature, <laughs> 6.0 to 8.0 pH, and 5 to 19 DGH, and DGH just stands for degrees of general hardness. A fantail goldfish has a tank size of a 20 gallon minimum. You can keep up to three fantail goldfish in a 20 gallon tank as long as you keep up with your maintenance. And please do not put your goldfish in a bowl. They need space to swim around and be a happy little fish. Speaking of fish, can your goldfish have tank mates? Yes and no. You see, if you put in a shrimp, your shrimp could be outcompeted for food or become the food for your giant goldfish. If you put in something fast, then your goldfish could be outcompeted for food. If you put in something aggressive, your goldfish could become the food. Get what I'm trying to say? Doing some research, I went on to Aquarium Co-op and I gathered a list of different types of fish that you can keep with your goldfish. And basically, stay away from small spiny fish, stay away from aggressive and fast fish, and make sure to get fish that have the same water temperatures and water parameters as your goldfish. Some good examples would be like Hillstream loaches, or Corydoras, Dojo loach, Bristlenose plecos, White Cloud Mountain minnows, or oh, just... Uh, platies. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. You can keep platies with goldfish. I love platies. Now we're gonna talk about feeding your goldfish. Now they are always, always, always hungry. And no matter how big their puppy eyes are, you can't feed them too much. Sorry, buddy. But, but, I'm so hungry. <laughs> In the wild, goldfish are omnivores, meaning they eat things like plants and bugs and plankton. They're here! Welcome, brethren! I love you! <laughs> plankton or algae or microorganisms and all kinds of rotting detritus. However, in captivity, they're fed just pellets and flakes. And that's a lot more boring, if you ask me. So I like to spice things up a bit, and I give my goldfish a variety of foods. That variety of food includes flakes, pellets, blanched spinach, hard-boiled egg, and bloodworms. If that palate seems way too fancy, your goldfish can live a perfectly happy life eating flakes and pellets. Now before you go, you have been warned. You thought you could have a nice little patch of plants in your tank. Well, no! No plants for you! You know why? Because they rip up! Every single plant I put It's not fair. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love my goldfish. When I got him, I got him from a hoarder. And he was barely breathing. I had to nurse him back to health over a few weeks. Then I was gonna get rid of him, but then I decided I kinda liked him, and that's how he kinda became my baby. I'll put a little video right here about it if I'm not too lazy. However, having goldfish means you can't have small plants that aren't rooted deeply. I figured out the hard way that your plants need to be large enough and rooted into the ground or else they will be eaten and destroyed and scattered all over the tank. As far as their personalities go, I love them. They're just so chunky and dorky and very cute and happy all the time. You never really see them sulking that much and every time you get near the tank or come home, they're all like, oh, it's the food bringer. So they're really happy, dorky, quirky fish, and I like them for that. And at one point, I was able to have a nice looking tank. It's beautiful. However, that didn't last very long, but hey, at least I have a video of it. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Not only does that really help support the algorithm, it also makes it more accessible to other fish keepers who need to learn about goldfish, I guess. Don't forget to take time to care for your animals, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!